Greetings, this is Scotty Reed with the Black Talk Media Project, a North Carolina based nonprofit which works towards elevating uh, black media. And I'm just going to show you how I broadcast an internet uh, radio program. Um, this is a four channel mixer. By the way, I have copyrighted um, how to wire up your mixer so that it'll work with internet radio and you'll be able to take phone calls and whatnot I have copyrighted that as well as the uh, DVDs and videos and what have you so I'm just making a shorter one uh, to send out to some people that want to learn how to do this so this is my newest video on it um, what I'm working with now is a um, multi mix 4 it's the Elise brand multi mix 4 is a four channel mixer that I'm using and I have a couple of adapters and some cables that I use the Elise multi mix 4 is a USB mixer so you can use other mixers but they have to be USB I recommend Elise multi mix 4 I have used some other ones and and they just do not work as well uh, it is only about sixty dollars for uh, this uh, particular mixer so as you can see here it is a USB I have it you know plugged into the desktop computer I also have my dynamic mic which is right here and it's plugged up um, there with the LSR mic in now um, what I then did was I got a, a quarter inch adapter so that I could uh, go ahead and plug up some 3.5 millimeter uh, patch cables and whatnot to um, route it route the sound uh, to the microphone on your computer all right so this right here is the main out what this red cable is going into now you have actually you can't see it let me go here you have two of these outputs now I tried uh, using a Y cable and and routing both of those channels into the computer and it just did not work right so what I did was just plug it up into one of the channels of the main out and I got that going into the mic port which is on the desktop here um, you'll still be able to get stereo sound now I use but broadcaster free piece of software for broadcasting internet radio and in the settings you want to make it tell it that it's a mono source the audio source is mono and it will then split that mono source into a uh, stereo uh, stream so the no problem there now what I have here is the headphone port I got it jacked into and this is again using a, a quarter inch adapter for a 3.5 millimeter uh, cables and so I got this cable running to some external speakers so that I can monitor the station I also got a pair of headphones that I use sometimes but when I'm not broadcasting and I'm broadcasting or or engineering someone else's program I just monitor it through the speaker source the external speakers there all right so that's about it it is really simple to hook up and what you will need to do then is configure your uh, onboard sound cards because you want to use the uh, mixer to be your uh, main source of audio um, which will be the speakers on your Windows based audio card it'll be the speaker card and uh, so that's that's um that is uh, how you want to set the cards is what I'm trying to say and again then I have the sound coming out the mixer going into the microphone port um, which it then just accept any sound that I put into it including if I use Skype if I use a web based uh, telephone system like a flash phone or something um, it'll mix all that audio and anything I play the people that's on the other end of the line will be able to hear it and I'm talking about a phone system they'll be able to hear it and um, so it, it just works out perfectly so um, you do want to watch the video that I have made on how to set up the sound cards okay this is Scotty Reed for Black Talk Media Project signing out
to him. And one person, one company said, uh, did you buy from Superior? Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how to set your audio card for your Windows PC. Again, I'm working with Windows 7 on a Windows uh, PC. So what I want to do is go down here to the speaker icon. I want to right click it. Then select recording devices so that we can set the audio cards the way that uh, they should be. So the only audio card that should be enabled is the default onboard computer. This is your internal um, microphone card or sound card with the microphone device that's already built in. All computers should have this already built in, some sort of onboard sound system. So you want for the microphone to simply use the built-in card and you want to set it to the default device you can right click and do things of that nature to disable or enable devices so any other cards you have including the USB uh, card that comes with the mixer you want to disable that as well so you can double click or right click and open up the properties of the microphone and again the it may be different for you you may um, need to set your audio levels a little different from mine but this is what I always go with um, microphone is at 100% and I do not need the microphone boost because I'm using a mixer also um, on the enhancements I don't use any enhancements if you go to advanced you can see that you will have a choice here to, to uh, choose the quality of the stream. I always go with two channel 16 bit 44 100 hertz, that's CD quality, because that's universal. I do not turn on exclusive mode because different applications may need to share uh, this card. So don't allow exclusive mode. Now you want to go to your sound card. Now again, same thing here. This is the built-in card, but I'm not using the built-in sound card for speakers. So I have that turned off. I don't even have anything plugged into it. So obviously it's not it's not going to work. Now, I for the mixer, a USB mixer that I'm using, that will always be my default device. That will always be my default device. And here is a card from um, some software I use to stream live to YouTube. I don't even need it because all the different software that you will use will always, or applications you use will always use what you have set as the default and it'll work. So uh, to go into speakers, same thing here, I always go to the levels. I always set it at halfway. Enhancements, no enhancements and Advanced, same as the microphone, 16 bit, 44 100 hertz CD quality. And the exclusive mode, do not check exclusive mode. 